So guys, check it out. We are, we picked up my truck. The, uh, the repair was ne nearly as bad as, it, as we hoped, as we thought it was gonna be. We hoped it wouldn't be bad and it wasn't bad. All it was was a clogged power steering reservoir. And it was stopping us from getting power steering uh, lubricant to the power steering mechanism. So, picked up our truck this morning. We're gonna go return our rental car and hit Golf Hammock, Yankee Town. We've got some fun, exciting stuff right ahead for you. Ricky's getting host plant for some caterpillars that we found. <laughs> Guys, uh, let's go out to the, the western, northwest coast of Florida and look to see what we can find. We gotta pick up our light traps and we're gonna hunt for butterflies. Let's, let's go look what we can find. All right. Cows, we got sheep. And we got butterflies. <laughs> Here we go, baby. All right, so on our way to our spot, there's some flocks and it looks like a pipe vine swallow. Looks like a pipe vine swallowtail. Yeah, Ricky. Pipe vine. Female. Female. Pipe vine swallowtail right there. You ready? Yep. Guys, one thing about one thing about collecting in North Florida during the springtime, the roadsides are absolutely covered with flowers. And so there's all kinds of flowers here that, this, this is flocks here, this purple stuff that the pipe vine swallowtail is on, feeding on. And um, there's sweet clover, we got the false dandelions, there's all kinds of flowers. So you just keep your eyes open and you can see some beauties while you're driving. All right guys, we are at Golf Hammock and guys, I wanted to show you a couple things real quick, right? There stood the famous North Florida Golf Hammock Circle K gas station. <laughs> that, that, uh, what's up? The, 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 the wasp, they, were they were following me? Yeah. Okay. Next to you, I, yeah. I was like, oh, the, uh, man, yeah, I've got pheromones here, so we're going to keep an eye. I'll keep my net out in front of me. So if, they, if, the, if, the, if the Seceded moths come to the pheromone, we'll be able to see them. All right. So, guys, here's the deal. Right over there, there used to be a Circle K gas station and the lights on that thing drew moths from all over the place. And it, it was literally the best gas station to stop at if you were going to hunt for moths. And so I don't know how many times we drove up here, um, but it's been like 16, 17 years since I've come. And uh, I was very displeased. Oh, here's it. I got a wasp moth coming to my pheromone. That's scary. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see which one it is. He, he flew. Potosessia syringae, I think. Um, I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted by bugs. Uh, so guys, it's kind of disheartening to see my gas station gone, where we caught all of our moths, and a big fence keeping us out of the property. So um, I guess it is what it is. That's what happens when you don't visit a place in 17 years. Plus a guy Oh, and a guy spraying mosquito pesticides last night while we're trying to collect moths. And so it was kind of like, well, really, guy, we're sitting here catching moths. Um, so there's a lot happening here. And so, you know, on top of all that, we have no sun. We have this cloud cover stuff. So we're trying to scrounge up some bugs. Um, the light traps, we're going to go check those. And let's see how we do, guys. But Golf Hammock in... I think it's Levy County, Florida, uh, is, has been historically one of my best spots for collecting moths and butterflies. So let's go see what we can find. All right, first things first, guys, we gotta retrieve our light traps. And we've got a little bit of cloud cover, but, huh? What do we got? Oh, yeah, that's a satyr. Satyr? Yeah, they're common. We'll get more of those. We want to see little triangles on the sweet clover. I don't see any yet, but show me some hair streaks, guys. Show me some hair streaks. 
Look at all the sweet clover. Sun. Yeah, yeah. Sun, sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. Okay. Proceed to the route. Oh, you're still on, Siri? <laughs> Let me turn. Oh, alright, guys. So, um, inside of one of my light traps is a live male Cecropia, and he's really beat up. So we're we're gonna make sure he he goes free. But Ricky, what do you think you hear, buddy? That's a beauty, bro. Isn't that gorgeous? It is beautiful. All night last night at the she, we didn't see any silk moths. Nope, not at all. But in this little tiny. We had a thousand watts of mercury vapor. Yep. Black lights, this one little 15 watt black, actually that's a 20 watt bulb, but we get a Cecropia, so let me see if, let us see supplies. Let's see, let me see if he'll, let me see if he'll give me a photo op. Or is he gonna fly? Uh, <laughs> Cecropia. Ah. Uh, there you go. Yep. Not so bad. Look at him. Oh, isn't he beautiful? Cecropia. Okay, I'm going to try and let him fly and see what happens. There you go. Cecropia. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna tend to the rest of my stuff here. All right, well, I'm gonna do a quick walk along this uh, little weedy roadside here uh, on the side of Gulf Hammock in the, behind the uh, old Circle K gas station where it used to be. And right here, guys, is a place where we've found a number of really, really cool things like Megisto Viola, the Viola uh, Seder. Beautiful, beautiful big eye spots on that butterfly. Oh, here's a butterfly, here's a skipper. What do we got, what do we got? You're gonna be somebody who cooperates? It's, it's a Wallingrinia. Oh, I'm not sure which one it is. All right, brown skipper. <laughs> Oh, it's Nastra Neomatha. Nastra Neomatha is who that guy is. Let's see if we can. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, Nastra Neomatha. It's a pretty common skipper in a lot of places and just brown on both sides, no markings. It's pretty, what, one of the ways you can tell that bug apart from a lot of the other skippers. A lot of them have spots. This one has no spots. So, all right, butterfly number one. Um, we saw some seceds coming here, but guys, we have uh, Magisto Viola here. We've got the Texas Crescent spot, which is a super cool one uh, that lives here in uh, and this little roadside here. Now, I, I would usually just see them flying around. Now, it's a little late. I usually would find them in late March. Uh, it, this is April. So, uh, it might be late in the year for the text. A lot of a lot of these things that I remember seeing. I was hoping to catch the tail end of the flights of some of these things. And, of course, the cloud cover does not help. So, we are going to hunt and see if we can find anything cool. Oh, there is also another skipper that's here is Ambla Skirties. Uh, oh gosh, forgetting names, it's been 17 years. Uh, the webbed Ambla Skirties uh, roadside skipper. And so that's here as well. And we just, we just need to find them. We just need to find something. Let's see if we can scurry anything up. Sometimes when it's cloudy, if you wanna, Get a little activity you kind of just wave your net 
back and forth. And if there's anything resting, sometimes you'll get them to spook up and fly a little bit and go land so that you can take video or pictures or whatever. But, um, all right, we got two skippers. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple good ones, guys. This is Pawani's Hobomoke. I got two males. Two males. Let me see if I can get good video here of Pawani's Hobomoke. The, this is a very dimorphic skipper. The females are bigger and brown. Oh, there he goes. Good. All right, so that's a good one, guys. Believe it or not, this skipper right here is a decent bug. So skippers aren't a problem, I guess, in the cloud cover. They're still willing to fly a little bit. So guys, right over here last night, we were we had our lights set up for observing moths. And, and as you saw, we had a guy come in with a truck with a sprayer in the little parking lot area of the fire station and spraying uh, this aerial insect spray. Wow. I'm not sure what he was spraying for, maybe mosquitoes, I'm not sure. But he went along all the roadsides spraying. So when you, you know, I, I didn't observe this. This isn't like a scientific document. This is just, I'm just observing what I see. I see almost no insects on this roadside. There's a couple little things, but usually when I've been here in the past, I remember this roadside just being teeming with insect life. And uh, I just wonder if some of the, the pesticides that were sprayed on the roadsides kind of like hammered back some of these bugs that live on roadsides on some of these these cool little places where this, these sedges grow and things like that. So uh, that we're working, we have a lot against us right now to find any cool uh, bugs to show you guys. We've, we've seen a few, but few and far between, we've got clouds, we've got insect spray, and it's a little late in spring. So I'm trying to show you guys something. Let's see what else we can find. The Spanish moth, they eat this stuff, the caterpillars do leaves so um, I was kind of hoping to see caterpillars I don't see any they would be on these uh, caterpillars would be eating the leaves of some of this stuff right here um, I don't see anything but the moths are showing up on the on the lights so you know, maybe they'll maybe we'll see something but no Spanish moth caterpillars yet but that's that's what they eat that's their host plant I see. Oh, Carolina Sater just got caught in a spider web. <gasps> Look at that. He missed. Missed his opportunity. Uh oh, dude, you escaped with your life, Mr. Sater. This little brown Carolina Sater just got caught in a spider web and barely made it because the spider was on its way, <laughs> but didn't get there in time. So. He lives to fly another day. He lives to fly another day. What a lucky little bug. Well, we have a Saronis blue. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but at least it's a flying insect. <laughs> it's been bad, man. All right, so I'm not sure where the private property ends, but uh, the fence ends right here. And this is tempting beyond all belief. So I'm going to come out here into this field of clovers and see if there's anything alive coming to it. This is, guys, this is called white clover. It blooms in the spring. And probably early April, early to mid-April, it's the only time that you can see it up here in North Florida. Uh, it's the plant, man. It's the plant if you want hair streaks. Um, it, it's a great, great nectar source for, for Arctea wasp moths. And so I'm going to kind of poke around. This field is loaded with white sweet clover. So I'm going to kind of poke around. If we had a little sun... 
it would be amazing. In fact, if the sun would just peek through just for 15 minutes, it would be, it might, could be enough to pull the hair streaks out. Oh, there's a hair streak. There's a hair streak, guys. What do we got? I told you. Red banded. All right, it's an old, old red banded hair streak. That's what I'm talking about, though, guys. With the with the sweet clover, hair streaks absolutely go nuts over this stuff. And so there's no sun right now, so it's kind of hard. But I'm still hoping that maybe we can find a an olive hair streak or a white M hair streak or even a great purple or something like that. Let's see what we can find, guys. This stuff is amazing. All right. I don't know what the heck is this. Look at the size of that fly. It looks like a huge... What the heck what kind of fly is that? He was eating sweet clover. <laughs> He's an intimidating looking creature. We got lots of honeybees, lots of bees. Um, unfortunately, butterflies just love sunlight, guys, and there isn't any. This is very hard. It's hard for butterflies, guys. Hard for butterflies. Right, we have another hair streak. Which one is it? Is it another red banded? I think so. Yeah. yeah this is a nice one. Look at this. Look at that butterfly. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful butterfly that is. Look at that thing. Pretty bug. This is the plant, guys. All right, let's see if we can find any more. All right, another species for golf hammock, the checkered skipper. Pyragus oileus. And I am not chasing him down any further. Especially if he doesn't want to be chased. Or... All right, so now not even is it just that we have clouds, but also wind. It's, it's like the only thing that could get worse for butterflies as far as weather conditions would have, if it were to start raining. And... Uh, Guys, to be honest, I'm holding my breath. The forecast said no rain, but I don't know. You know how that goes with forecasts. All right, another species, guys. This, this is the gray hair streak. Strymon melinus. Pretty one. And it's not on sweet clover. It's on this little, this little red, uh, Whatever flower that is. Look at that beauty, man. Pretty hair streak. Golf artillery. All right, so Ricky spotted. A couple Serranus Blues intercoitus. <laughs> Let's see. The wind is making video of their activities a little difficult, but here we go. Holding on for dear life. Serranus Blues. Cool. All right, guys, so this little fire station here is where we were last night lighting for moths. It's only 100 yards or so back from the gas station uh, where it used to be so amazing. And we had a decent night, yeah, we right? Did, we did okay? We had an awesome night. We had an awesome night. It was good. Um, but this little trail right here, I have so many memories walking back on this trail. And there was all kinds of things back there, man. All kinds of butterflies that we would see. And um, very special. But unfortunately, in the, sometime in the last 17 years, it's got, it's got a gate now in padlock. So, um, gosh, the other, you know what we should do? The other thing, that big red cedar right there, 
I used to find all of her stuff there. There's a red cedar over here. I'm gonna tap that thing just for giggles. <laughs> and see if we can chase a olive hair streak, guys. There's a. I didn't see any olive hair streaks on the sweet clover in that big field, but this red cedar, Atlantic red cedar, is a host plant. So if I use my big long pole and tap it, maybe we can get a female to fly up. Let's uh, see if we can find any green hair streaks. Aki Daki, here we go. Anybody home? I don't see anything flying right now. Nobody home. Nobody home. You see one? It's a butterfly. Yeah? It went up there. Little one? Or butterfly. Something went flying. Boom, fast. Really? Yeah. Like fast or kind of like. Do, 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 do. More like a moth? Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna do a quick walk along this uh, little weedy roadside here uh, on the side of Gulf Hammock in the, behind the uh, old Circle K gas station where it used to be. And right here, guys, is a place where we've found a number of really, really cool things like Megisto Viola, the Viola uh, Seder. Beautiful, beautiful big eye spots on that butterfly. Oh, here's a butterfly. Here's a skipper. What do we got? What do we got? You're gonna be somebody who cooperates. It's it's a Wallingrinia. Oh, I'm not sure which one he is. All right, brown skipper. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Nastor Neomathala. Nastor Neomathala is who that guy is. Let's see if we can, yep. Let's see. Yeah, Nastor Neomathala. It's a pretty common skipper in a lot of places and just brown on both sides, no markings. It's pretty, one of the ways you can tell that bug apart from a lot of the other skippers a lot of them have spots this one has no spots so all right butterfly number one um we saw some seceds coming here but guys we have uh magisto viola here we've got the texas crescent spot which is a super cool one uh that lives here in uh in this little roadside here and i i would usually just see him flying around now it's a little late I usually would find them in late March. I, it, this is April, so uh, it might be late in the year for the text. A lot of a lot of these things that I remember seeing, I was hoping to catch the tail end of the flights of some of these things. And of course, the cloud cover does not help. So we are going to hunt and see if we can find anything cool. Oh, oh there is also another skipper that's here is Ambla uh Oh gosh, forgetting names, it's been 17 years. Uh, the webbed Ambla Skirties uh, roadside skipper. And so that's here as well. And we just, we just need to find them. We just need to find something. Let's see if we can scurry anything up. Sometimes when it's cloudy, if you wanna get a little activity, you kinda just wave your net back and forth. And if there's anything resting, sometimes you'll get them to spook up and fly a little bit and go land 
so that you can mm -hmm. take video or pictures or whatever. But um, all right, we got two skippers. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple good ones, guys. This is Pawani's Hobomoke. I got two males. Two males. Let me see if I can get good video here of Pawani's Hobomoke. The, this is a very dimorphic skipper. The females are bigger and brown. Oh, there he goes. Good. All right, so that's a good one, guys. Believe it or not, this skipper right here is a decent bug. And uh, hopefully Ricky comes so he can see Pawani's Hobomoke. Look at him. So skippers aren't a problem, I guess, in the cloud cover. They're still willing to fly a little bit. I'm gonna go check all that. Uh, there's a big old field of sweet clover right there. I was hoping to get some uh, sunlight so we could go look for hair streaks. We'll see if that happens. All of this, uh, all of this little grass right here are the, is the host plant for a lot of these strange skippers that are very local and uh, common, but very local, little tiny isolated populations. So guys, that, that last night, as we were right there setting up our lights for uh, moth observing, right in the middle of, uh, let's see. So guys, right over here last night, we were, we had our lights set up for observing moths. And, and as you saw, we had a guy come in with a truck with a sprayer in the little parking lot area of the fire station and spraying uh, this aerial insect spray. I'm not sure what he was spraying for, maybe mosquitoes, I'm not sure. But he went along all the roadsides spraying. So when you, you know, I, I didn't observe this. This isn't like a scientific document. This is just, I'm just observing what I see. I see almost no insects on this roadside. There's a couple little things, but usually when I've been here in the past, I remember this roadside just being teeming with insect life. And uh, I just wonder if some of the, the pesticides that were sprayed on the roadsides kind of like hammered back some of these bugs that live on roadsides on some of these, these cool little places where this, these sedges grow and things like that. So uh, that we're working, we have a lot against us right now to find any cool uh, bugs to show you guys. We've, we've seen a, a few, but few and far between, we've got clouds. We've got insect spray, and it's a little late in spring, so I'm trying to show you guys something. Let's see what else we can find. Look at that li water lily. The Spanish moth they eat this stuff, the caterpillars do, the leaves. So I was kind of hoping to see caterpillars. I don't see any. They would be on these, uh, caterpillars would be eating the leaves of some of this stuff right here. Um, I don't see anything, but the moths are showing up on the, on the lights. So, you know, maybe they'll, maybe we'll see something, but no Spanish moth caterpillars yet, but that's, that's what they eat. That's their host plant.
Ricky. Yes, sir. Question mark. Wait. Yep. Uh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. He, he's on the ground. Walk real slow. See him? See him? Your net is not better? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's a comma. It's a comma. It's not a question mark. It's a comma. Come on. And he's over by the... It's gone, right? No, he's over by that truck. Yeah, it won't make you go back and forth all no, hold on. Where's he gonna land? He's on a building. I'm gonna get him right off the right off the wall of the post office. <laughs> nobody saw that. I didn't know if somebody had escaped. No, nobody saw that. I missed. I swung and missed, man. That was. Oh yeah, is, there, is that one right there? I think. Yeah. Look at that. There's moths all over the place, huh? Yeah, We've got Paratrini simulans. They do. Uh, we're, we're doing we're doing a survey on some of the yeah Spanish moth and then. A little like bagworm guy, yeah. That's, just kind of moth. that's a tiger moth. Tiger moth. Tiger moth. Yeah. So wow. you got pictures of that big green one, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, big luna moth. Oh yeah. It's that time of year. It's that time of year, man. <laughs> there's enough. There's a lot of bugs here, man. Yeah. Oh man. Tell me about it. Some, most of them you can't see them. That's right. Yeah. No see. You got what they call a golf and golf hammock white oak snake. Posted. This is one of the only places. Really? Yeah. White yeah. oak hammock, snake. White oak snake. Yeah. They usually, they're usually kind of brownish colored, but really? there's a rare one that's a white oak snake, and it's they call it a gold. Let's look for white, white snakes, Ricky. Snake. Uh, the white snake. Yep. I'm down. <laughs> Let's look for him. <laughs> I see a frog over there. Let me see. I want to check this one out. Yeah. That was funny. Uh, I'll be back. back. Look at them. That's that's where he becomes. Yeah. Hi. What are you doing? Looking for bugs. You got enough bugs? Yeah, we have lots of bugs. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a few bugs off your hand? No, you're. <laughs> He's a bugologist. Yeah, we we're bugologists, sure. I think the holes in that net are too big. I know. Yeah, it's a holy net. <laughs> They're too big for these bugs. <laughs> <laughs> guys well that does it for golf hammock uh we saw some stuff but the weather just wasn't cooperating for us um gosh that, that whole field full of sweet clover um was there it, it's beautiful looking next year i'm definitely coming back and checking that out but it just didn't pan out so it is what it is so off to the next spot but in order to see the yankee town episode you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss it when we go on more bug hunting adventures so if you like the video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe guys till next time signing out from golf hammock northwest florida let's get out there and enjoy florida take care